How's it going guys? Today we're at our favorite spot, good old Costco. So today we're going to be talking about how not to get deactivated while you're working for Instacart because there are a lot of people out here trying to scam us and get free things and in return it could make us lose our jobs. So there's a lot of things that you guys need to be careful of and not do and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. But before that I have to shop a batch. That is what we're looking at. $73 Costco batch Saturday morning. The part that hurts is the 30 miles and uh, 43 items. So this is probably going to take me two hours. But the good news is for you guys, time travel is apparently a thing. So you guys are just going to see me with a bunch of carts here in a second. All right, so that was about 45 minutes of shopping. Had to refund like five things. So that's how my day's going. Do have some full parts though. Car is very full, but we've done worse. So we ended up having to refund like six things. So our order is going to go down a little. Not too worried about it because it was a pretty high-paying order to begin with, mostly from miles too. So it's not like it was like a sixty-dollar tip that's going to go down a ton. But that being said, it, it might go down another ten dollars, but I will be completely fine with that. One of the orders is for an apartment, so that'll be fun, because they're both pretty big. And it's like the second floor, so it's not a super easy drop off. So that's why I try to pack it pretty well with boxes. So hopefully that works out. Yeah, I'm gonna drop these off, and then we're gonna actually get into the main part of the video and uh, go over some reasons that you could get deactivated. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Another reason why I love this job, it keeps you in shape. I'm just gonna sit here and write my thank you note before I get to the next drop off, 17 minutes away. I am like out of breath, cause I was like two floors and a bunch of trips back and forth. And I was walking around trying to find her apartment. It was kind of like set up weird. So that's always fun. All right, thank, try two. Thank you note is done. And um, the thank you note does tie into this video a little, believe it or not because if you guys are worried about people scamming you, if they see that you're giving that like extra personal touch, they're less likely to go through with the scam. They might give up halfway through and just be like, you know what, this person's too nice. I'm not saying it's always gonna work by any means, but it's something you can do and it definitely helps keep your ratings up because people are a lot less likely to complain about you if you accidentally gave them a bad apple, if they see that you at least like spent some time to write a personal thank you note to them. Ever since I started doing the thank you notes, I have received a lot less four stars. I'm not necessarily getting like a ton more ratings because I'm not asking for a rating, but I'm definitely receiving less four stars. It humanizes the driver, so it's not just a service, it's someone like me actually like communicating with the customer and just working for them. I don't know if that makes sense, but when you do little things like that, it really takes you to the next level and people really like appreciate stuff like that, little touches. It shows that you care is <laughs> what I'm trying to get across. But yeah, next time you guys see my face, I should be at Costco explaining how not to get deactivated. I'm sorry, I was supposed to do that earlier this morning, but I never had a chance because I got this batch. Yeah, I, we will get there at some point. I'm not clickbaiting, I swear. All right. Got some sanitizer <laughs> and a lot of it. All right, well, that's not gonna work. Wish me luck. Oh, this is a really bad idea. Not bad. I don't think I spilt any. All right, so let's talk about the reason you guys clicked on this video, most likely. 
how not to get deactivated. So I came up with a pretty good list here, and this is probably mostly talking to the newer shoppers. But if you are a veteran shopper, you might learn a thing or two, but chances are you probably know most of these things already. All right, so the first thing, if you guys are ever dealing with a customer that is acting a little sus and uh, you think that they might be trying to scam you, uh, it is a very good idea to take lots of pictures of all the items and the address, and maybe even take a video if the address is really weird and you're slightly unsure, take a video of you dropping everything off and their address. Just keep it to yourself. So like stuff like that, it's very important to document that you actually delivered so the customer can't just be like, hey, you didn't actually deliver it. If it's a hand to me customer, take a picture anyways and then meet the customer. Don't just hand it to them because you guys need to prove that you dropped the groceries off. Another idea is take a picture of the street sign, have a picture of their house number, and make sure that you step back a little so they can see the house. So if they do claim that you never delivered it, you have proof and you can get on Google Maps and prove it that you were at their location. So next up, if a customer wants you to ever give them the receipt, do not. They will get a digital receipt, and basically if they, if they ask you for the receipt, just let them know like, hey, Instacart does not allow me to do that, but they will send you a digital receipt. And if you have any like problems with any items, you can contact support and they'll refund it or make things right. So you don't need the receipt. You don't need to go to the store. I assume most people want the receipt so they can budget and things like that, but do not give it to a customer. What they could do with that is take all the items back to the store, return them with the receipt, get all their money back, and then complain to Instacart saying that they never got their order. So basically they get paid to go grocery shopping. That's why you don't give your customers the receipt and just be nice about it if they ask you for the receipt, just be honest and nice. All right, next up is your rating. If you guys get below 4.5, your account is in danger. This is something that you guys could find on Instacart. You guys just wanna make sure that your rating doesn't get too low. And while we're talking about rating, we also need to talk about your cancellation rate. So if your cancellation rate is close to 15%, your account is also in danger. So try to keep it as low as possible. But obviously you guys are probably gonna have to cancel an order every once in a while. That's okay, just don't get to 15%. All right, next up is probably your least favorite. Technically right now, I think we're supposed to be wearing masks during the shopping and delivery. That is up to you to decide if you're gonna do that or not. But if you guys are shopping for someone that is immune compromised and they have like a ring camera at their door and they have a, a video of you not wearing a mask setting all the groceries down, if they're really upset, they could contact support and get you into some trouble. Hey, we just got a batch, what do you know? But yeah, you guys could potentially get into trouble there, but it's a little weird and there's a lot of politics to that. So I'm gonna keep that to a minimum because I don't even want to talk about that one. Also, technically, you're not really supposed to shop with other people. I know a lot of people that shop with like their baby. A lot of stay-at-home moms are working with their baby, which personally I think is awesome. Like they're working while taking care of a little human. Props to them. But again, if someone catches you doing that and they for some reason report you because they are that petty, technically you guys could get into some trouble, but the chances of you actually getting in trouble, probably pretty low. All right, next up is a pretty obvious one. There are a lot of bots for Instacart right now, and if you guys watch my channel, chances are you guys have probably seen these bots commenting. Just don't use them. I know Instacart is being pretty bad right now, and they're taking that to their advantage. You don't wanna mess with bots. It's, it's one of the quickest ways to get deactivated. All right, next up is the Costco loyalty badge, and this is really applying towards any loyalty badge that you guys have to scan at checkout. If you guys goof this up, you can get into some trouble, especially at Costco. If you guys scan customer A for customer B, you guys might get banned from just Costco. You won't necessarily get deactivated, but you might not be able to shop at Costco or Sam's, whatever store that you're potentially shopping at. All right, my last point. So sometimes Instacart gives you a little thing. It's like, take a selfie so we know it's you. If you guys fail that and you guys like, take a picture and it's like super blurry or you just put your hand over it, you're probably gonna get deactivated. And that is one of the fastest ways to lose your Instacart account forever. Because once you fail that, it is very hard to get activated again. So make sure if you guys ever see that pop up, make sure you guys take the picture no matter what. 
I'm not too sure if there's a time limit, but just take a good picture, make sure that your face is clearly in it so that the person that is looking at it can tell it's you. So yeah, those are my tips for not getting deactivated. All right, so now I'm gonna eat a ton of McChicken and uh, do this order here in a couple minutes. I'm not too excited because the parking lot is a mess. And then look at this guy, this truck parking right next to the Shelby that was trying to stay out of the freaking mess. And this truck guy parked right next to the beautiful Shelby. I hope he knows that guy because if he doesn't, that is just rude. Such a beautiful car. Oh, no way. All right, we just got an add-on. So this is a $40 batch now. Lots of paper towels. I've only done two orders today, and I think I'm gonna be at like 110 after this. It's actually been like this a lot for me lately, which is weird, because for a while it dried up for a bit. I just wasn't seeing a lot of batches, but lately after this update, it's actually been better, which is weird, because most people, it's not that way at all. So I actually forgot one thing, and I wanted to come back and mention this. Another way that you could get deactivated is not checking a customer's ID. So if you guys say you're, you're getting cold medicine, there's no alcohol and you're just like, I'll just leave it there for the person. And if you leave it there for the person without scanning their ID, Instacart takes that very serious. You just get deactivated if you do that. And it's really hard to come back from that. Basically with alcohol, you always have to return it to the store. There are legal reasons why you have to do that. So just another piece of advice. Today is actually doing pretty good. One of our customers upped their tip by $4, which is pretty awesome because it was already a good order and then they gave me a flat tip. So today, geez, I think, yeah, I just got another person to increase their tip somehow. Yeah, what the heck? I've had two people increase their tips. So I'm at 182, that's pretty nice. Especially for everything that's going on, I'm really glad that I'm not being affected too much by this Instacart update. Also, uh, thank you guys so much for the support on that video. If you guys subbed to me from that video, thank you so much. I hope that you're enjoying the content that I'm making. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But yeah, I'll probably catch back up to you. I'm gonna do one more order to get to 200 and um, we'll do a little recap and see how our day went. All right, so it is 6.20, it's pretty late. We ended up working a little over eight hours today, but we made $210, which is really nice, and uh, we're gonna be pretty happy with that. So that means we averaged 26.25 per hour today, which is really nice, definitely happy with that. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys slap that like button down below. Hopefully you guys are able to learn a little something from my advice earlier. And yeah, have a good one guys, and keep grinding.